How did they change this to this in a mobile app? Technology evolves and Austrian Audio has taken the microphone world on their new hands and they developed super interesting, innovative microphones. I think they are even the most hyped microphones of 2020. And are they worth it? We're gonna find out in this video. You played me like a fool when you made me believe that the line between love wasn't thick enough to read. Last music messer, it's a big trade show in Germany, and I came across Austrian Audio. I talked with the guys from Austrian Audio. They told me the story, showed me their product, and I was instantly hooked. After the trade show, I saw so many things popping up on the internet about Austrian Audio. So what is their story? A few years ago, Samsung bought the whole Harman group that includes AKG and the factory was in Vienna. So they bought that company and then after that they closed that Vienna office and the factory. So 22 employees started Estrian Audio. They were former AKG employees. So they didn't want to move offices, they didn't agree and they want to continue the legacy that they built up with AKG. So they thought if it's not possible within AKG anymore, we're gonna start something new, we're gonna do it ourselves and Estrian Audio was born. So let's give you an overview about which products they got now in the microphone area. They got the OC818, they got the OC 18 microphone, they have those microphone clamps. I got two of them at the moment. They have the Bluetooth dongle. They got a shock mount as well, don't have that right here now. They got these extension cables from mini XLR to normal XLR. And in the live set are those windshields as well included. So we got the live set, but you also have a studio bundle that only includes one of the microphones. And the main difference between the, the OC18 and the OC818 is that this is a multi-pattern microphone and um, the OC18 uh, is just a single cardioid microphone. So I got the Bluetooth dongle here and you can plug it in in the back of the microphone via mini XLR and then you can control the microphone via an app. But now in a 2020 version via Bluetooth of course. So why is the top line innovation? As I mentioned, I got the Bluetooth dongle. You can buy it separated, not included. And via that Bluetooth dongle, if you hook it up to the microphone, you can control the whole microphone in your mobile app. The cool thing is that you got a custom mode right here. With that custom mode, you can go in between all the polar patterns that are available on the microphone. And I think you have 255 modes in between. So you can really customize the recording situation that fits your artist or your situation or your location where you're at at that moment. The other thing is that you can hook up a mini XLR on the back of this microphone and then you suddenly have two outputs on this microphone. So you can record one side and the other side via separated signals, which we're gonna give a try. So we're gonna do a small test. First, we're gonna record on two sides. Then we're gonna switch between the polar patterns within the mobile app. Okay. For another side. I don't care about the quarantine, new corona time. Work at the crib, even doing overtime. They drink and sip and work so fine. It's a grind, it's a grind. It is times I'm mine, yeah. And in the end, we're gonna do an overall test how the microphone reacts in different dynamics of voice. The other thing is that they have a polar pattern plugin, which we won't dive in today, but to have a look on the internet, do some research, it's super interesting. So besides all the innovation that these microphones are packed with, that's not the main reason why the community loves this microphone so much. That's for the reason that the old AKG 414 and the C12 microphone had a ceramic capsule built in that had such a nice and warm character to it when recording. And those microphones now on a second-handed market are priced crazily high. And that's why Austrian Audio packed that same knowledge into this microphone because their engineers that worked on those older AKG microphones are now working for Austrian Audio. So they have all the know-how and they build all that love and that new capsule in this microphone, which makes it a super interesting and appealing microphone. If you look at those AKG prices of the C414, that's insane. And this way it's still affordable and you get all the new innovation with it. What the fuck's a brother? Obviously a man that came from my mother A homie that'll get you back in the road Not afraid to fail knowing that you would know Yeah, carry the load, bruh Put your troubles in the boat Even if it's just for a little while I will pick up the phone and carry you home Yeah, and you know <laughs>
What up guys, new day and the team is not here right now. I'm alone in the studio so I thought good moment to listen back to recordings we did on the OC818 yesterday. So we did ended up doing two tests, one general test with a rap artist recording in a microphone and one dual recording with one person in front of the mic doing the main vocals and one person on the back of the mic with dual XLR output to do the ad libs. And we ended up doing as well the mobile controlling. So um, you can also put in the dongle in the microphone on the back like we mentioned and then you can control all the settings on the microphone via your mobile phone. I would not use it myself that often because we have a I would not say small studio, but it's not a super huge studio with a separated vocal booth. So if you record on stage or in a separated vocal booth and you're the engineer, you don't want to walk back and forward to change settings on the microphone, you can do all that via your mobile phone. So that can be quite handy, depends on your situation. But let's check out the recordings we did. So, so here I got um, the, the, the main recording we did with the vocals and I'm going to check back. What the fuck's a brother? Obviously a man that came from my mother. A homie that'll get you back in the road. Not afraid to fail, knowing that you would know. Yeah, carry the load, bruh. Put your troubles in the boat. Even if it's just for a little while, I will pick up the phone. Sounds super crisp, clear. Um, the, the rapper was quite close to the microphone and we didn't use a pop filter at that time. So you can hear some rumble in the microphone. I already did a low cut in the microphone, in the, in the EQ settings. Um, and besides that, it's all dry. No effects in there, as you can see. What the fuck's a brother? Obviously a man that came from my mother. To get you back in the road, not afraid to fail, knowing that you would know. Yeah, carry the load, bruh. Put your troubles in the boat, even if it's just for a little while. I will pick up the phone and carry you home. Yeah. So as you can see, I use CLA on the on the on the channel of the vocals. I have it off right now, but I use it to really quickly adjust things if I'm working in a studio and I just want to have a quick uh, plug in on there with all the effects. I put that on there, but I must say I'm super amazed about the quality. It sounds super clear and crisp to me, and I think we can really have super dope recordings with it. So let, let's check this one more time, and then we go check out the dual recording we did. Brother, obviously a man that came from my mother, a homie that'll get you back in the road. Not afraid to fail, knowing that you would know. Yeah, carry the load, bruh. Put your troubles in the boat, even if it's just for a little. What the fuck's a brother? Obviously a man that came from my mother, a homie that'll get you back in the road. Not afraid to fail, knowing that you would know. Yeah, carry the load, bruh. Put your troubles in the boat, even if it's just for a little while. I will pick up the phone and carry you home. So this recording is not perfectionized, we did it quite quickly, but it's really to give you an idea how the microphone can sound with rap vocals on it. So let's go back to the dual recording. So just to mention as well, you can use the dual output in different settings with guitar or uh, ad libs or whatever, how you want to use it, or just with one vocalist in the back and then you have a separated channel with some ambience in the back that you can put different effects on since a separated channel, you record it on a separated channel like we did here. There are two channels. Let's see. I don't care about the quarantine, do corona time. Work at the crib, even doing overtime. They drink and sip and work so fine. It's a grind, it's a grind. Yeah, these times I'm mine, yeah. Doing meetings in my shorts, turn the cushion up in the sports, yeah. Do Sounds super cool. You can actually hear the separation of that. I can hear some of the main rap in the in the AdLibs channel as well, but that's not really a problem in this case. As, again, it's not a super clean recording. We did it quite quickly to get an ID what it does, and you can use it in many different situations as well. But let's check it out, how it sounds uh, in, a, in a full arrangement on this demo project we were just working on for fun. I don't care about the side. But while we do the fights us, I'll be and be reminded of everybody in line waiting for another side. I don't care about. 
about the quarantine, new corona time Work at the crib, even doing overtime Day drinking, sipping work, so fine It's a grind, it's a grind, it is times I'm mine, yeah Super dope. I'm super happy with the results right there. Let's see how it's one the main channel sounds. I don't care about the quarantine, do corona time. Work at the crib, even doing overtime. Day drinking, sipping work, so fine. It's a grind. It's I don't care about the quarantine, do corona time. Work at the crib, even doing overtime. Day drinking, sipping work, so fine. It's a grind. It's a grind. Yeah, these times I'm mine. Yeah, doing meetings in my shorts, turning push up in the sports. Yeah, do it like. I don't care about the quarantine, do corona time Work at the crib, even doing overtime Day drinking, sipping work, so fine It's a grind, it's a grind Yeah, these times I'm mine, yeah Doing methods in my shorts Turning push up in the sports, yeah Do it like, like I, don't I think it's super cool And this really gives you the creativity in the studio To have m different options, you know Like, you can plug in as a regular microphone Or if you were two artists, you can say like Hey, we can do a dual recording as well And see what it brings in terms of creativity in the studio So it's really up to you how you're gonna use this. So I'm super happy with the result. There are many different ways you can use the dual recording, of course. We did it this way to check it out, how it sounds. And I hope this really gave you a good idea of what this microphone is capable of. So for us, this is really the new go-to microphone in the studio. And my opinion is that you have to embrace innovation and it will push the competition as well to make more innovative microphones. So I think it's a super interesting and good development. We love the microphone and it's our new go-to mic for now. So guys, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, and remember, always keep making music.